My name is Sanjana Marpeka and I am a graduate of the Global Health Certificate and a biology major. When I started out freshman and sophomore year, you know, I, mean, I know everyone struggles to find kind of their niche and where they fit in. Um, but it wasn't until the summer after my freshman year that I actually found something that I loved fighting for. It actually started with my grandmother. We went to India for the first time in eight years and that's when I learned she was diabetic. Um, and she'd been diabetic for the past 15 years. And that was the first time that I had actually seen the disease manifest in more than just um, the biology because I had been able to do a little bit of diabetes wet lab research in high school but never put a face to the disease and the economic implications, the financial, the burdens of um, the social and cultural stigmas, the responsibility that it put on my family, it was hurting more than my grandmother, it was definitely um, putting a strain on my family and that's what kind of spurred me to start learning about global health because I wanted, um, I wanted more of an explanation for what was going on because it just didn't make sense in my head. It wasn't until actually um, the service opportunities and leadership program through the Heart Leadership Program that I got to um, find a grant to go to um, Tanzania and that became my fieldwork experience for the Global Health Certificate as well. So my community partner on the ground was the Tanzanian Diabetes Association and I was interviewing caretakers of type 1 diabetic children on their knowledge of diabetes and diabetes care. And that Tanzanian experience was so big for me. Um, it was the first time I was alone in, in a foreign country. It was the first time I dealt with death. It was the first time I saw um, health as a social pathology, as an issue of social justice. And this framework of the social determinants of health, you know, that was the first time I actually understood what that meant. And in coming back to Duke, I really wanted a way to kind of bridge my experiences in Tanzania with my experiences at Duke. While I was in Tanzania, I heard about World Diabetes Day. So I learned about the Blue Monument Challenge. And that's where they try to light monuments and buildings around the world in blue. And um, I remember sitting on the plane back thinking, how cool would it be if we got the chapel lit blue? And it was through different conversations with administration, with professors, and with other students that finally um, kind of spurt, that served as the impetus for getting the chapel lit blue. And I remember uh, the side lights turned on. Um, we stood there for another 30 minutes and the front lights turned on. And I will never forget that moment. It was probably one of the best memories I've had at Duke. And one of the best things about it was students that walked by and they knew it was for World Diabetes Day. And that was something that blew my mind because I definitely wasn't expecting that. We got a wide variety of people involved in the day. It wasn't just people who were pre-med or who thought global health was cool. It was people who felt that their families were affected and people who knew that their friends were affected. And that was, that was really powerful for me. This past year, um, in 2012, we had people hold, hold little candles that um, lit up in blue and we took a um, sky view picture from the top of the chapel um, and had people um, stand in the shape of a circle because the circle is the international symbol for diabetes. I think what I've seen through World Diabetes Day, especially uh, people coming up to me and saying, you know what, I never even realized that diabetes could cause this and this and this or that it could lead to this and this and I, I talked to my aunt who's a diabetic and that totally opened my eyes. It's really hard to figure out how to make an impact and I think for me getting people to realize that they are connected to the disease I mean, in some way is a success in itself. It was something that I really wanted to do as a testament to, my, to the people I met in Tanzania um, and the diabetic patients that I met in Tanzania along with my grandmother. She passed away this summer um, and it really hit me hard that I had never actually told her that she was the reason that I you know, wanted to learn about diabetes, that I wanted to do, um, what I wanted to follow the career path that I wanted to follow, and I really wish I had because, um, you know, we didn't get to go to India very often, so never really developed a strong relationship with her, but um, it would have meant a lot to me to have been able to say that to her. So I do believe that she is watching over. Yeah. It definitely taught me a lot about my own self and um, it taught me a lot about how to relate to others in ways that I never expected to. 
and it um, taught me to question my own values in, in, in human life and in family. And so um, it definitely helped me become the person I am today.